If you watched tonight's episode of Inside Pediatrics, the drama was real. Filming wrapped up this summer, but the stories continue. KMBC 9's Haley Harrison sits down with a high school senior hoping for the promise of a long, healthy life. Appearances mask the disease for 17 year old Marisa Centillion. Are you nervous? I'm really nervous, but I'm ready. Her story in episodes three and four of this season's Inside Pediatrics. I have restrictive cardiomyopathy. She needs a new heart. Hers is failing. Anybody can be like sick or like ill, like, you know, like inside, like I don't look like it on the outside, like I look like a normal teenager. We caught up with the Shawnee Mission North senior during a checkup at Children's Mercy. An IV delivers medication around the clock. Her health holds steady, but she's still on the transplant list. I'm like ready for it, but at the same time I'm scared because I'm always scared like I'm going to like die or something. Anxiety medication helps with the fear and she tells me she prays. Cause if I don't, I'm just going to like work myself up way too much. Through tears and smiles, Dr. Brian Birnbaum is there. Dr. Barnes saw you last Thursday and still short of breath and tired and... Yeah. Eight months, Maurice has been waiting for her heart. It's not unheard of. I think all of us had hoped that she would have been transplanted by this point here. In the meantime, she's living her life. In episode four, trying on homecoming dresses. It's beautiful. This fall, she went. I mean, we still killed it. Now she's looking ahead to graduation, college, and fulfilling her dreams. But now it makes me even want to be a nurse more because I know so much stuff from my. I always ask questions when I'm in the hospital all the time. Marisa striving to help other kids one day as a pediatric nurse. Okay, thank you. All right, hang in there. At Children's Mercy, Haley Harrison, KMBC 9 News. Well, Marissa is attending high school full time while waiting for her new heart. She's among four kids currently on the heart transplant list at Children's Mercy this year.